Hello everybody! Today I want to show you a way of decorating a little box and some issues I encountered along the way, so let's get started! My first step was to make a petal of the flower I want to put on top of the box. I started from a 7 loops eccentric teardrop created on the closed teeth comb, the rest of the paper left from the total of 7 strips being wrapped around the teardrop. I also previously added a top coat of glue, then spread it evenly and waited to dry. What you see here is the result after it dried and I then bent it in some sort of semi-moon shape as far as it was possible. I added some more top coat glue to secure this shape in place and I let it dry. Now let's prepare the box. I will wrap it with some white ribbon and I wanted to use some of the glue that I already had around but that didn't work very well. After cutting the pieces accordingly, so they fit the length of the sides of the box, I came to the conclusion that you should use a special kind of glue for fabric, not the one that I used here, because you can see the traces of glue behind this ribbon and it looks really really bad. So, not having what I needed, I had to come up with other solutions, so I had the idea to use double-sided tape. I first put the tape on the box, peeling it gradually, as I added the ribbon on top. The whole process took a while and it was a bit painstaking, but it finally ended in a nice result. I also added some blue string for contrast and for covering other anesthetic edges. While I was working, somebody came visiting, and we both thought that we needed a break to relax us a little after that much work, me attaching ribbons and strings, and her bird watching.
Finally, she stole some string and wanted to take off. Anyway, this is how the box looks like after it has been upgraded and I went on to adding the petals I made earlier and arranged them into a flower. I also added some tiny diamond bent teardrops in a contrasting color with everything else and I chose yellow for this purpose. Gluing some blingy little stuff was necessary in my opinion, so I searched through my big collection, took out a few and put them here and there in a way that I saw fit. Of course you can choose another design, it is entirely up to you and your preferences. What do you think about my arrangement? Hope you like it, cause it took some work. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like. There are a lot of ways to decorate a small jewelry box and I have so many ideas in my head, so I can't wait to show you another decoration in a future video. Until then, let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions for a good fabric glue or if you have other solutions to attaching that ribbon properly. As I did not know how my glue will behave on the white ribbon and not being prepared for this outcome, I had to think of other ways to repair the damages and so should you in case something goes wrong at a certain moment. You should not give up and believe the whole project is ruined, you should think of ways to fix it because in a lot of cases this is possible and it only takes ingenuity. Thanks for watching! See you next time with another cool project! Take care!